Aha, uh -huh. oh boy, oh boy, it is indeed time. Hello gamers, my name is Waddles, welcome back to the Minecraft Guide, episode 43, and oh boy, do you know what rhymes with 43? Well, of course, the number three. Uh, so you guys seem to dig the enchanting thing at the beginning of uh, the last episode, so guess what we're doing today? It's enchantment time, magical enchantment time, before we go off on our true real adventure. Uh, but I, I also have received word that my food is getting low, so I need to uh, feed up my favorite animals here, the cows. This cow breeder is still working amazing. I haven't showed it off in a while, but I love this thing. That's great. Uh, we should definitely... Uh, I'll need to wait uh, for the food. <laughs> uh, now, today, what are we enchanting today? Well... Uh, first, we're, we're going to make a new set of diamond boots. Uh, diamond boots, like that. Uh-huh, that's how you craft it. Uh, because these ones are breaking. I love these boots that I have on, but I've repaired them a few times now. So let's see. Uh, oh, oh, that's actually pretty good. Minus, no, like, no feather falling, which is a bummer. But uh, that's not bad. I think we'll need to make an armory somewhere in the world to um, keep, you know, like, armor. And maybe, like, weapons, too. Like, an armory and tool building. That could be a cool idea. Uh, but that's enchanted, so honestly, I, I think that's all I needed to do. I thought that would take a little longer. <laughs> now, today, 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 today we are continuing the plan uh, to fight the Wither. We are on step two now. Last episode, we gathered up the skulls that we needed. They should be, yep, in here still. Uh, and today, we need a totem of undying. The Wither boss is possibly, probably, the hardest boss, like the strongest one, in Minecraft. And uh, I can either not die or not die. That is the only option. So I, I'd like some emergency supplies in case we, we do end up, unfortunately, passing away. So uh, the plan is to go over towards... The old settlement where we went yesterday and actually take on a raid now we play on hard difficulty so there should be seven waves of said raid and uh, we should get three or four totem of undyings from the thing i think maybe even five you get a, uh, a decent handful and you know why I, I absolutely love that idea if we can take on the wither and hold a totem of undying at the same time then if we die we get like a second chance and if i have more than one then i have a third and a fourth and a, and a fifth chance if i need it i'm not counting on it because i'm I, I will put it this way, I, defeat is not an option, but y you never know, right? So like, so like, just to be safe. Uh, now for the raid today, the raid fight, I think we'll want some extra blocks and our armor. That, that should be just about it. We have a bed to sleep and set our spawn. Um, yeah, I think we have everything that I need. Uh, so the plan now is to, uh, I think, head on over there. Now, seeing as this is my first 1.14 Let's Play world, and and knowing the fact that we haven't done a raid yet, this will actually be my first true survival experience with with a raid. I, I of course, have taken them on in survival and, like, creative worlds, but I've never done this in a world that I actually care about, and in a world where I've actually spent a long time grinding and, and getting the supplies and everything necessary for this fight. So, I, I think today's episode is going to be very fun <laughs> it should be an interesting one um i am definitely very excited to try this out and, and mess with the mechanics first there are two things that you need to do before a raid uh happens uh, the first thing gear up get get your tools your weapons your supplies and then step two get the bad omen effect so we, we already have our gears and tools and supplies and everything like that but we don't have the bad omen effect how do we get that well we either A, find an outpost and kill a pillager captain, or B, we find a random patrol around the world. I think the patrol is going to be the way that uh, we'll be going, because I don't remember there being any outposts over in, in this vicinity. But if we find an outpost, we'll definitely run over and, and kill one of the pillager captains. Which pillager is the pillager captain? Well, the pillager with the banner on its head. The, the captain has the flag. That is the main one, really the only one that we need to kill. Then, after we get that uh, evil bad omen effect, all we need to do is wander into a village, and the raid will begin. Uh, what village are we tormenting with this? Well, of course, uh, of course. What other village could we do it to other than Loserville over here? Loserville is the target today. I'm sorry, uh, all villagers who live here. Um, you will be uh, a big part of my big game. Now, 
uh, before we actually do this whole raid stuff, I'd like to, to to fortify the town up a little bit. And by town, I mean one or two of the villagers. If the mobs that are included in the raid manage to kill all of the villagers in this town, then we lose, and that's not good. We definitely want to win, so uh, we need one of these villagers to go inside of... Um, a house and then we'll trap them there uh can we just put you in a boat yes we can okay uh now you are coming with me and we need to put him somewhere uh like like indoors so maybe uh oh yeah we can't do that mm. all right well you're gonna have to go in here uh-huh uh perfect and then we stay like that that should be good uh extra protection just to be safe now we need to set our spawn here so let's say uh this one's occupied we'll, we'll go ahead and do this as well block you in and we'll put the bed uh well we don't even need to put the bed we'll just sleep in this bed this is my bed now sorry all right so two villagers are fortified and safe that's good we have the nitwit that wanders around but that's fine i wouldn't put it past him now, I think I'd like to swing over to, I think, our cave base and get some banner marking going on here. I'd like to take a look at the sheep colors that we have over by the old base and uh, make a banner. I don't really want a blue banner over at this uh, town. And then I need to get the cave base marked on this map here. So uh, once we're back at our actual base, we have everything marked. I, I mentioned it last episode right at the end, but I want things marked on the main map like like the big zoomed out map i think that would be cool and it would be a good way to to know and to remember what is what and where is where so let's see i thought i had a banner somewhere in here named and i i could have swore i marked it um i guess not but uh what colors do we have we have uh let's go with gray gray is nice okay so uh gray banner named banner marked banner and we might as well mark this town as well so we'll go ahead and take this banner and say um you go right up here that should be safe and mark it on the map so now what well uh, now we we need to start looking for an outpost or a patrol and you know if i'm being honest i can't remember if i ever saw like an outpost near here so I think what I'll do is I'll uh, bring some colored wool with me so I can make banners and name things and uh, we'll look around in this area um, for an outpost. And the big hopes are um, that while we're looking, a patrol will maybe spawn um, and then we can kill the leader and, and then hurry back over to the town and do our whole fight. Hmm, well, not not having much luck yet, uh, but I am sticking to the plains biome. Why am I doing that? Well, I, I figured that if a patrol spawns out here, out in the open, then I'll be able to see it, and um, then I can just run right over to it, but I, I kind of reached the edge of the plains, so I, I don't know. I'm thinking about making a new map and just going down that way, but it's nighttime, so my plan is to just make a bunch of beds and um, just leave it down so my spawn is at least set and and i can run back over to the town i i think i think it's an okay idea um uh <laughs> well it's an idea that i'm just gonna go with we're, we're gonna go with it and hopefully that's a good idea i i don't know um ideally my spawn is should be set at the towns but i i don't know um <laughs> Hmm, there's a new town. That's new. Um, I haven't found any uh, patrols yet. That's kind of cool, though. Uh, well, 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 would you take a look at what I see? Do you see it? I, I sure hope you do. Uh, that's an outpost. So, I've been exploring for uh, probably like 30 minutes, just kind of running around. I, I really think that this was not the best way to find patrols because I found zero patrols. And, you know, I was thinking about it, and I'm sure if a patrol spawned like behind me and I just kept running and then it just despawned, you, you know, I, I would have never seen it. Um, but we have an outpost and we are actually pretty far. So this map is below... Um, 
uh, the Loserville map. So the, the plan here is to run over there, kill a pillager captain, and then make our way back to Loserville. Once we get this bad omen effect, we have uh, 100 minutes with it. So we have to get to Loserville within that time, which should be pretty easy. Now, um, I, I do want this outpost on my map, but I am also uh, not too concerned about that right now. So if we can just run over there and find a captain, um, th then I'm, I'm willing to just ditch this place and we'll come back to it. Now in my long journeys, I did uh, slaughter quite a bit of wildlife. I needed more food, so I have a bit of leather now, which is kind of cool. Um, but uh, captains, where are you at? So to my understanding, captains will spawn at random inside of these things or around these things, basically within the spawning bounds of these areas. And hey, thank you very much. This is what I was looking for. So we just kind of need to to, to be a little patient, um, probably run in and out of... Wait, can we... Uh, can we... Uh, aha! That works. <laughs> we can mark the outpost like that. But basically, we need to hang around this outpost area, kill the pillagers that are attacking me until we get that bad omen uh, banner effect. So, I guess it's time to, to collect up some levels. I don't mind if I do. And uh, just be patient. And I definitely need to keep the inventory clean, so we will be um, trying to keep the crossbows and repairing them up. String and, and carrots and potatoes, that stuff might have to go, un unfortunately. Aha, uh -huh, there's our banner head man that we were looking for. So, you can go away, buddy, and you will be coming with me, or at least the effect is. Bad omen, check. Now, we need to abandon this outpost completely, and, and get all the way back over to Loserville because uh, the other villages that I found were not prepared for this whole raid stuff. I totally could have done that, but no, 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 no. Okay, well, here we are coming up to the town now. Now, a few things I'd like to mention before the raid fight. Uh, there, there should be seven waves because we're on hard difficulty. Each wave gets a little stronger and... Um, it's the middle, uh, or the, the latter half of the day, so we are definitely going to have to sleep during the fight at some point, unless things go crazily, uh, like, like, crazy quick, uh, which I kind of doubt, so the whole nighttime thing, that's what I'm afraid of, but there's not much that I can really do about it other than waiting around outside of the town, and I don't want to do that, I, I definitely want to, uh, just start the raid and, and give it a shot, and... I kind of explore it and see how it goes. So, uh, I'm sorry, villagers. <laughs> I hope you guys are okay, uh, but here comes the raid. So, let's go ahead and do this. We'll run over to uh, where we sleep, where we live, which is this house, and we'll uh, just put the under chest there, and uh, valuable things like the maps go in there. I definitely don't want to lose those, and... Here we go. So, uh, wave one uh, should just be these guys. Not that scary at all. There's just a lot of them. Um, but we can actually use their poor ability to fight uh, to our advantage. They'll actually start shooting each other. And, uh, yep, they, they just kind of turn on each other. <laughs> Not very um, good uh, uh, friends. Uh, they are, I guess you could say. Uh, but there we go. Wave one done. That that was pretty easy. Uh, a banner and a crossbow. I'm trying to keep track of the loot as well. Uh, some of it's going to get all mixed in, but uh, wave two should be, I think, uh, the yeah, the Johnnies. The Johnnies are here too. The Johnnies are the dangerous ones. Uh, we can't let them near us. They have axes and they'll chop us and, and hurt us a lot. Um, so, yep, we're keeping them away, uh, for sure. <laughs> are they turning on each other? Oh, they are. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, there's a golem in this town, too, but, uh, I think it's trapped in this little ravine thing here, so I don't expect any backup help, really. Uh, not that I need it. I'm doing pretty fine so far. Uh, knock on wood. Where, okay, the Johnny has lost interest. Uh, they're Vindicators, by the way. That's what their real name is. Uh, uh, yeah, they, oh, wow, the only two hearts, I thought it would take way more, but I guess this armor is just pretty good, um, look like a porcupine a little bit, but here we go, wave three, uh, what's going on, uh, who is it this time, where is it, uh, I think it's over here, you can tell, uh, oh, yep, they're on the hill, it's a ravager this time, so ravagers are strong, um, 
And there's a witch. The witches will actually throw potions and heal up their fellow uh, raid friends. Um, so we need to, to definitely dispose of the witch as soon as possible. Uh, because it's not... Um, the, the witch is... Oh, no. I'm getting shot. <laughs> the witch is a problem maker. The witch will continually heal up the, the, the people. Um, so the witch has to go. Um, witch, come here. Uh, over here, witch... You, you have to go. I'm sorry. Um, goodbye, witch. And Vindicator. Um, not now, guys. We have a Vindicator. Uh, there you are. Aha. Uh -huh. So, Ravager's stuck. Um, these guys, no biggie. No biggie. Easy peasy. Aha. Uh -huh. Goodbye. Uh, where are you? Hey, uh, no. Come down from there with your fancy, fancy thing. Uh, no. No. Uh, and a Ravager. Ravager drops a saddle. Um, other than that, nothing. Uh, so let's just go ahead and I'll do this. Uh, come down from there, sir. <laughs> uh, they have a lot of health, though. Uh, but saddle drops and falls. We'll keep that saddle. That saddle will be maybe a trophy. I definitely want a trophy from this first uh, raid. But wave, what, four now? Was that three? Yes, that was three. So this is where the nighttime begins. Can we just uh, sleep really quick, or is that a bad idea? That might be a bad idea. Um, uh, okay, so more witches. Let's see if we can get rid of those, because I think they're throwing speed potions. Is that is that speed potion? I don't know. Not so fast. Not so fast. I'm really not that worried about the pillagers. It's the the witches and the vindicators that I'm worried about, because those do a lot of damage. Um, the pillagers, not so much, but... It's nighttime, so we definitely should think about sleeping here. Um, but, uh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. Uh, that's not good. Half of the health. Uh, all right, we only have two left. Let's go ahead and take a break. Uh, to take, a, take a little nap. Uh, uh, well, uh, mm, this is awkward. <laughs> uh, this is weird. That's weird. Believe it or not, the the, uh, the nitwit doesn't want to trade right now. Hmm, fair enough. Uh, you, you don't want to trade with a guy who... Who caused this? Uh, huh. Alright, so the last one is a witch. You think you're funny, huh? You th I hear you laughing. You think you're funny. No, no, no. No funny. No jokes here. No, no, no. Uh, so what's our loot looking like? Uh, a lot. Very cool. Let's combine these. Uh, I don't need to to have those uncombined. But where is wave 5? Wave 5 should have uh, the totem of undying dude, I think. I, I forget his name. Um, what's his name? Hmm, where are they coming from? Hmm, this is not good. Oh, they're over there. It's that thing. That, uh, over there, he needs to go away because it spawns the, um, what do you call them? The, the, the little ghost creatures. The ghost creatures scare me. <laughs> they're really strong. Um, yeah, uh, the ravagers, I uh, like, pushing forward too. Is that thing gone already, though? Um, did I kill it? Ah, uh, he was last seen over here. Hmm. Ah, uh, it might be gone. Uh, and if it is, uh, we need to find the totem. Oh, no. All right, these guys have got to go. Uh, especially the Ravager. The Ravager will hit me for a lot of damage. Uh, so there we go. That's that's solved. Now we need to find the bad guys. Uh, where's the ghost man? Have you seen the ghost man? Oh, there's the ghost man. There's the ghost man. We run. We run. <laughs> ghost man is bad. Um, the vexes are the flying things. Uh, vexes, very bad. Very mean. Do lots of damage to me and make me sad. Um, I don't think the vexes should be able to get the villagers that are trapped, though. Um, so that's good. Um, but they can definitely get me while I'm out here. Uh, we're going to run. We're going to run. If I can stop him from spawning them like that, uh, there we go. That's our first totem up with the Vexus. Oh, no. Uh, I think they die over time, right? Um, yeah. Oh, no. That's not good. That's not good. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, we got to run. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out, guys. No, no, no. Thank you. No, thank you. Uh, yeah. Oh boy, uh, those things are scary. All right, one raider remaining. I think the vexes are gone. Big think. Um, not sure about it. Oh no, they're not. Uh, there's a few left. Oh boy, this is this is something. Uh, we need to drop some stuff off too. We'll clear the space up a little bit, and 
There should be even more of those things that spawn those. I still can't think of their name. Um, they're bad. Hmm. There it is. There it is. You. Not again. Not this again. Not <laughs> this again. Uh, I'm just trying to get rid of them. Um, <laughs> uh, these guys, not that bad compared to that um, ghost spawning man. Did I kill him? No. No, I didn't. I didn't kill him. Uh, Bell. <laughs> uh, where is it? Uh, well, that highlights them all. That's what that does. That's, that's cool. I forgot about that. Um... But, uh, the witch, uh, have you healed up the mean man over there? Probably. Um, let's get rid of the Johnnies. All right. It freaks me out when they freeze in place. I, I always think it's world lag, but, um, it's not. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. You're gone. You're gone from the world. Uh, but those aren't. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, you know what? You know what? Uh, fine. You guys can have the town. You can have the town. Oh, they're laughing at me. They're laughing at me. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if I like that. Um, you gotta go. You gotta go. Um, okay, where are the, the... It's just a witch? Is it just the witch? Because those guys don't count. You don't count. Um, all right, the witch is gone. Um, and these guys are going. Oh, 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 it's that. That's who's left. Okay. Um, well, let's do this. We'll run and we'll heal. Uh-huh. There we go. Okay, so I think there's one final wave here of this raid, and then uh, victory can be officially claimed. But some of this stuff, oh boy, is clogging up my inventory quite a bit. Uh, so we're just taking a break here. Um, flying ghost men, don't do it. Don't do it. Not now. Not now. All right, now where is the final wave? I didn't hear the horn, so I... Oh, uh, there it is. Okay, um, so what do we have? We have a Ravager, or two, two Ravagers, and one of them has the, the creepy man um, on it. So let's try and uh, get rid of those real quick. Um, are there more ghosts in town? What's hitting me? Is it just them shooting? Uh... Oh, no, there's more ghosts. Okay, cool. Uh, nice. Uh, so where is... Well, that one's over there. Okay, and they're stuck, so I, I think I can stop with them and uh, shoot at this guy. There's one running around in the town as well, which is spawning these ghosts, and um, it's not helping. If I'm being honest, the ghosts are... The ghosts are pretty scary. Um, <laughs> they're, they're kind of freaky. Oh, that attack is really cool, but also dangerous. Um, so, can we lure him over here? Because I'm afraid that that attack can actually go through walls. Um, so, uh, can you not stand behind the tree? Thank you. Um, all right, he's gone. Now, that's good. Uh, there's another one. Okay, all right. Uh, there, you're gone too. Uh, do we have both? Yes, we have both of the totems, but we also have these. Uh, huh. Oh, that's a lot of ghosts. That's a lot of ghosts. Um, we're going to run. We are going to run and get rid of him. All right. Now the ghosts. Uh, are you guys... Oh, that, that scared me. <laughs> now, I think we need to be careful because we also can't run too far away from the town or uh, these guys win, I think. I think that's the deal here. So um, we need to stay over in the town. Okay, the Ravagers are still on the tree. That's good. That's good. Uh, which means we can clear out some of these guys real quick um, and let the ghosts slowly die. This flame sword is so nice. I, I really like the extra damage that it does um, to all these things. All right, who's left? Who is it? Is it just the Dancing Ravagers? It, it very well might be. Uh, I thought I saw somebody walking around over here. Oh, I did. Uh, you are left. All right, that hurt. Uh, but there you go. Now these guys. Okay, party's over. Party's over. Sorry, guys. You're gonna have to go now. Um, I, I saw I killed the guy that spawns the ghost, so that's good. Um, do we just push up? Is that the plan? We, we need to push up for the totem, for sure. I can drop some of this stuff, though. Uh, dirt can go. Oh, my helmet's gone. Oh, no. Oh, this is a sad day. Oh! Ah, that hurts. All right. Well, ranged it is. Ranged, uh, ranged will work. Uh, there we go. And now you gotta go. Mm hmm. We'll heal up really quick, and uh, then we'll push in. I think for the final kill, and then we get the victory. All right, you're gone, and you are gone too. Uh, that is 
a victory and the totem right here here it is for me uh saplings can go away so that's not bad now the villagers are going to to celebrate my saving the people over here are celebrating and if they could come outside uh they would throw fireworks and i think they oh is he yep yep so the hero of the village effect gives me some crazy discounts and um uh, they're throwing free stuff uh, not the sugar though the sugar is probably from the raid so how many totems five totems of undying not bad not bad lots of saddles lots of emeralds um some axes from the vindicators and sadly a missing helmet ah uh, i guess you can't win them all i i guess oh and it's bedtime now these villagers in celebration will also throw me free things related to their profession. So I'm sure the fishermen will throw me, um, like fish. If we had a stonemason, we'd get clay. And yeah, just tons of cool bonuses. But I think it's time to pack up, uh, shop here and head out of Loserville. Uh, because we have saved the day officially. And the townspeople are very happy. No firework celebration though. I, cause I trapped them all. <laughs> all right let's get back to home now that's been enough action for today well uh that is a raid and how to deal with it kind of kind of maybe we'll do like a technique video later on uh once we can like make a fortified city and everything like that but uh here's the map here's what we have marked now our home is over here i should probably do like a like a banner marker to just kind of symbolize it but uh, we have the cave base marked, um, Loserville, and then all of these other random villages. I'd like to maybe um, make it a, a point to to label all of the villages with white banners, and then like um, like special villages with other banners. And yep, like the banner color has a meaning. So Savannah Town is probably going to have to be relabeled. Um, but like blue for ocean things, and, and yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, but the loot, so what did I get from that whole raid? Well, I, I went ahead and I laid it out over here. All of this stuff is from the raid and, and this totem, but this was the first totem, so I'm thinking about maybe saving that as, as a trophy. Let me know what you think about that. And then this loot is from exploring, so uh, the crossbows and the bottle and the banner is from the outpost, and then this stuff from villages that's what i found around the world but step two of the wither prep is now done i'll definitely need some new armor i cannot 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 lose these leggings i don't know what was on the helmet but it was probably decent um so oh well too bad uh, but this uh the comment of the day today's comment is from marvin wilson s uh, d and the comment was can you make a subway system from your base to the land mass that you discovered and uh, the, the landmass that he's referring to is uh, from the exploration episode that we did, episode uh, 40. And I wanted to, to use this comment as a way to talk about uh, the map that we were actually just over at. So can I make um, a subway system from here uh, down to like the landmass that we discovered down here? Uh, probably not, but I could definitely, and I probably will, make a subway line from our base to the cave base um, over to the stronghold for sure. And then maybe to other things, like if we make an outpost farm, and, and of course if we can find a closer outpost. Um, but yeah, subway systems are a, a definite yes in this world, eventually. I just don't really have much of a need for them right now. But yeah, I, I really love the idea of connecting everything up, so thank you for the comment. Uh, so today I'd like to send a special shout out to Spaghetti Dude for the support, thank you very much. And thank you everybody else for watching today's episode. Go have a good one. My name is Waddles, and I will uh, see you next time. Goodbye.